going on people it's your boy zane man uh this is my first official youtube video uh, i'm feeling pretty good man opening up to the world uh, i want to share my thoughts uh, so my purpose of making these videos are uh, i believe that i have a gift of expressing myself verbally and i wish to help the world i think through my experiences i've gained um a good amount of knowledge about knowing oneself about you know progressing and you know uh, how to achieve one's you know dreams or goals you know faster or you know with a better attitude and um, i think i want to share this with the world so thank you for tuning in uh, and giving me your time and your energy so uh, basically, you know, I want to take steps, you know, talk about, you know, little things first that are very important, though, the basics. Um, today, I want to talk about the brain. Very important and very complex. But uh, these things that I'm going to talk about, uh, you know, these are basic things that you need to keep uh, in mind uh, while you are going through your journey. Okay, um, so basically, the brain is a tool. Yes, I said it. It is a tool. Uh, so you cannot blame how your brain thinks. Okay, um, your brain acquires knowledge through the environment that you're in. So it doesn't read good or bad. It just adapts in order to help you survive because that is the human instinct to survive okay so it's only doing its job now the reason why it's not working out for you know people is because you're not using the tool correctly you have to know how to use the tool just like if you have the instruction manual and you know about the tool then you can uh, maneuver it in the position that you wish okay so here are a few things that I believe that will help you okay so like I was saying before the environment it takes things from the environment so you have to know what you want but um, if your environment is not you know beneficial for what you want then you need to get out of that environment because your brain subconsciously is recording all the experiences and learning how to adapt in this environment. Um, so this is how you're going to react. Your thoughts turn into your actions and your actions turn into habits. So, uh, you know, wherever you are, you have to, you know, analyze and ask yourself, is this beneficial for what I want? Um, you know, it may not be a totally bad environment, but if you want to be a, a football player and you're working at McDonald's, I don't think that is very beneficial. Um, so keep in mind, your environment plays a huge role in, you know, what you think about, you know, just think about where you grew up, you know, that uh, had a big effect on who you are today. Um, but the good thing about being human and conscious is that you can change that. So be aware of your environment. Next, you know, what goes along with your environment is the people. You know, words are very, you know, powerful and, um, you know, they can stick to your mind and like I said, this creates your thoughts. So if you're just hanging around the wrong crowd, you know, not growing, um, and you know, just doing the same thing every day, you know, it's not going to help you, you know, go further and change for the better. You know, you're just gonna stay stagnant. Just like a pond where where it doesn't move, you know, there's there's not gonna be no life in it but a, a river that just keeps moving forward a lot of life will flourish through that river you know so um you know if the people around you are not you know beneficial to your growth 
you should, you know, try to move away from those people, you know. It may hurt, but, you know, you got to think about yourself first. Once you're good and you know yourself, then you can help other people. But first, we have to know us. And lastly, it's all about what you think, okay? Um, your brain is just like a baby, you know? So it's going to soak in everything that you give it. So you have to be aware of what, you know, you're feeding your brain. It's just like garden, man. You, you feed it negative things, it's going to grow weeds. You got to give it some, uh, you know, positive energy and, you know, it's going to grow beautiful flowers. But anywho, my recommendation is, you know, whatever you're trying to achieve, don't wait for anything. Start experiencing whatever you can experience in this field in order to get your brain to start thinking more and more on this subject. Once it starts thinking more and more on this subject, you're going to constantly think about this subject and it's going to start creating a world around you about this subject. But let's keep in mind, you don't want to get comfortable with one type of, you know, experience, you know, how you're, you know, getting used to this um, field that you wish to achieve. Because like I was saying before, if you <laughs> look at a pond that's still, you know, there's no life moving around. But if you look at uh, a river of rushing water, it's, it's full of life. So you have to constantly keep changing, you know, your experiences because your brain, like I said, is a tool and it's getting more comfortable and comfortable with uh, the experience. And soon the experience, you don't really appreciate it anymore. Not only that, you're not really growing from it anymore. So you have to constantly keep testing your brain, which is go through different uh, experiences. That's why traveling is the best. That's why people love vacation is because when you go on vacation, you're not thinking, you know, you're just doing, you know, uh, because you're not used to this area, you know, so you're more observant and you're, you're seeing how things are done and you react, react, um, you know, in a new way. So it's a beautiful thing to travel, but uh, we will definitely touch more on this subject. Uh, thank you for tuning in. You guys are beautiful and, uh, you know, it's going to be a beautiful future. You just got to open yourself up, man. Get to know yourself better and everything will be okay. Till next time, peace and love.